Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Adobe Illustrator scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to use the image trace feature inside of a script and customize an image trace for any of your images. Essentially, you can use scripting to automate and customize the settings for your image trace. And when we run it, it will essentially uh, create an image trace and use the trace function in order to create a vector image. And as you can see in this case, it's converted everything into a whole bunch of vertices and lines in order to create this shape. So I'm gonna be going over how to specifically access a layer or image and then how we can image trace it and create a vector image. Before we get started, I do wanna remind you down in the description, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for code updates and Instagram for other updates as well. If you haven't already joined the Discord server, you can get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And you can also help support the channel on YouTube and become a member and get cool perks and with these different tiers as a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. So we're gonna be basically making a super simple script which has access to the tracing options inside of Illustrator, and then we'll initiate that trace to create a new vector object. And if you look inside of the scripting guide under tracing object and tracing options, this is where we will be able to access everything. The first thing we'll need to do is create a tracing object and then using tracing options, we can customize how that trace appears. So to get started, I'll just open up a new script and I'll create a variable called document, which will be my app.active document, which essentially assumes that uh, you have a document open. And in my case, I have a single layer with this linked or placed file image uh, on the canvas. So what we can do then is to grab this layer and the linked image within it, I'm going to save our layer or image, whatever you want to call it, is equal to our document dot layers. And we want to grab the first layer, which is the zero with index in an array. And then we want to grab the placed items, which will give us a list, an array of all of the placed items if you just drag in a clip onto that layer. And just to make sure that's a valid object and is actually referencing this, I'm going to alert our layer. And you can see we're going to get a placed item in return. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our sort of trace object that we can then go in and adjust all the options. So I'm going to call this the plugin item because that's the actual type of variable we're gonna be getting. And I'm gonna set this equal to my layer dot trace. Now maybe the layer isn't the best name, so we'll just use our linked image and replace that. Now if we run this, you can see it's actually gonna go ahead and image trace already for us. So this will create a nice vector image using whatever defaults were set up. And if you look in the guide itself, for placed and linked items, we can use the trace method to convert the raster art into vector art using the default options. It also creates and returns a plugin item that references a tracing object. So that's why we called it plugin item. And the tracing object now that we have in return will have all the information here about the anchor count, the image resolution, and all that. So now we're going to take that plugin item we got back and adjust some of its properties and then expand our image trace. So we'll create a variable called our tracing options and we'll set this equal to our plugin item dot tracing. Now if I go ahead and alert our tracing options, we're now going to get a tracing object in return. And if we go into the guide and take a look at all of our tracing options, this is where we can begin to customize things uh, similarly to how they appear in the image trace panel. So we can adjust things like the, the paths, the corners, uh, if we want to ignore white and do other things like that. So we can simply say something like tracing options dot ignore white. We can set that equal to true or false and go through here and just pick out properties we need to change to customize our image trace. Obviously a pretty important one is the threshold, which ranges from zero to 255. So we can set our tracing options dot threshold. And we can set that equal to be a minimum at zero or maximum threshold at 255. We also have the path fitting, and a lot of these are going to use different values than appear in the actual image trace panel, because those are based on percentages. So for path fitting, higher values will create a looser path fitting range from 0 to 10.0. So we can just say tracing options dot path fitting is equal to maybe half, so 5.0. 
We can also have control over, if you can see here, the create fills and strokes. So we can simply say tracing options dot fills is equal to true if we want it to be enabled, or tracing options dot strokes is equal to false if we want it to be disabled. Another option we have access to, for example, is the corner angle, which will be the sharpness or sort of uh, smoothness of what your corners of the new vector image will be. And you can set this anywhere from 0 to 180. And you can also set up the tracing mode. Uh, you can see we have a tracing mode property. So we can grab our tracing options dot tracing mode is equal to a new tracing mode of some kind. So if we go to this object type, we have black and white, color, and gray. So I can set this equal to this enumerated value here. And now we have a couple of method options as well for our image trace. For the tracing options itself, we don't really want to mess with, but you're able to load a preset or store to a preset if you have something you want to use in the future. But for the actual tracing object itself, we have the ability to expand the tracing or release the tracing, which will either basically make a new image trace or release the tracing and bring it back to a vector art. And those are basically all of the useful properties that we can change within our tracing options. And these will allow you to essentially create as many different tracing options as you want and make a custom image trace in Illustrator. And if you need more help or reference, you can always go into the scripting guide, look down at tracing options and tracing object. These will contain the properties and methods, which will give you different information and abilities with those. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. And down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub and Instagram for updates. If you haven't already joined the Discord server, you can get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you aren't already a member on YouTube, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP to get cool perks and help us out. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.